Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So once again, up with another video, but uh, quite a long time. Yes, been a month because my exams were going on. So extremely sorry for that. Uh, but here we are with an important video where uh, on the request of our subscribers, uh, we have decided to make short snippets of three to four minutes where I'm going to pick up one particular subject of interest uh, that is being hovered upon in the interview and what kind of questions can come from that summarize on that because in our channel there are a lot of videos pertaining to all the kind of questions that might be asked the hr questions the gd topics everything you can refer to those but when it comes to summarizing on a particular subject or a topic like heat transfer mass transfer fluid mechanics picking up a topic and uh, discussing about the most pertinent or like the most common questions that are generally asked uh, regarding those topics by the interviewers in any interview that you appear mostly so I'm going to pick up uh, one topic each day and I'm going to discuss or summarize on the important questions of the particular topic and the answers mostly will find in my channel itself there are a lot of uh, videos on those particular questions that I have previously made as well you can refer to those or you can refer to other YouTube videos as well, other YouTube channels as well. You will find these questions elsewhere and the answers to the same. So I'm going to pick up fluid mechanics today. Uh, a very, very important topic and a very pertinent uh, subject when it comes to particularly chemical engineering. Apart from that, mechanical, you know, even production engineering, they go for fluid mechanics a lot because fluid mechanics is something that is very, very prevalent in the industry. And it is something a subject of interest that is uh, being uh, explored upon by almost all branches of engineering particularly the core branches definitely uh, so talking about fluid mechanics what kind of questions can you expect from the fluid mechanics when you go into an interview so firstly before I go into uh, the fluid mechanics important topics I would love to give you one question if you know the answer please type in your answer in the comment section so my question for the day uh, on fluid mechanics is, this is one of the questions that was asked in the bark interview that if you are given an open pond uh, or an open tank uh, and you uh, you know dip in a uh, tube in it then uh, what is the maximum amount of uh, uh, height that you can reach with that water uh, consider it to be pure water and with the pure water what is the maximum again i repeat my question uh, given a tank you are uh, you have kept the water in an open tank and you dip in a you know a tube and you do something you use a, a sucking mechanism or something but without any external mechanical energy given into the system what is the maximum height i repeat my question what is the maximum height that you can raise the water to this is a question that was asked in bark can you raise it uh, to the third floor or fourth floor without giving mechanical power what technique will you use to raise the fluid without using a pump first and how far or at what height max can you reach with that technique so this is my question this was asked in bark uh, interview please try to answer in the comment section now coming to the pertinent topics of fluid mechanics when it comes to fluid mechanics the most important topic that will be asked to you is the Newtonian and non Newtonian fluids now this is a very common topic when it comes to fluid mechanics it's asked in the interviews it uh, it is asked in the vivas in fact in the grand viva this was one of the questions that was asked to me it, it is it is one of the most important topics Newtonian and non Newtonian fluids now this subsection of non Newtonian fluids has a lot of things going on within uh, itself it has got the pseudoplastic fluid it has got uh, uh, the dilatant fluids it has got uh, uh, thixotropic it has got stress thinning stress thickening um, it has uh, it has got the cason fluid which is the uh, blood necessarily uh, you know a lot of fluids going around the corner in the non newtonian section so you will have to know the segregation between newtonian and non newtonian and the types of non newtonian fluids and how they are different from each other very very important thing uh, second is pumps, utmost important boys. Pumps, when you talk about fluid mechanics, pumps and compressors, the difference between the two. Uh, how do the two function and why are they different? Uh, what kind of mechanism do pumps follow? What are the types of pumps? You will find all of these videos in my channel itself. Uh, the types of pumps, where they're used, how they're used, what are centrifugal pumps, what are positive displacement pumps, uh, you know, and where do you use an open pump? What is an Archimedean screw? In, in oil industry, if you are going for an oil industry interview, what kind of pumps are generally used in the oil industry why not the other kind of pump you know you need to know all of these how what is the working principle of the pump you need to know this 
cavitation one of the most important topics uh, of, of when it comes to pumps what is cavitation and the normal question associated with it what is NPSH what is NPSH what is cavitation what is priming and how are the two related cavitation and priming you will have to know each and everything out and out so pumps done entirely compressors done uh, construction of comp uh, compressors and the working principle of compressors uh, apart from this the zones the buffer zone uh, the the uh, boundary layer most important concept or the most important concept of uh, fluid mechanics generally not that explored in the industry maybe but finds its application everywhere and it is important that you know these things you know most importantly you know what is being done what is not being done uh, uh, apart from this that streamline the streak line what is that how does it go about it uh, how to maintain or um, uh, like how to how to measure the trajectory of a particular fluid particle uh, what is the steady state what are the assumptions when you do a fluid mechanics what is the assumption of incompressibility what is the assumption of a, a steady state flow you should know the assumptions inside out uh, apart from that you should know the numbers associated with fluid mechanics the 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 uh, particular numbers and how does the analogy between heat and mass transfer occur uh, when we talk about these particular numbers you know uh, when you talk about this dimensionless numbers you will you will get a lot of them you know uh, there is this Nussel number there is this biop number uh, there is this uh, a lot of numbers are there you know dimensionless numbers in fact I have a sheet uploaded as a picture on the YouTube channel itself so go through the dimensionless numbers when it comes to fluid mechanics what are the dimensionless numbers what is its significance Significance and how does it draws an analogy when it is a mass transfer or a heat transfer process pertaining to fluid mechanics in particular so these are the questions uh, gamuts that you can explore definitely pumps and compressors types of fluids where and how they are used the a buffer layer the uh, viscous layer what is vorticity what are the assumptions steady state incompressible flow uh, what are the assumptions about uh, density how does a uh, some practical problems that how if i if i uh, put a hole at the bottom of a tank how does it behave you know uh, uh, some some uh, yes uh, very important is Bernoulli's equation when you talk about uh, fluid mechanics uh, very important Bernoulli's equation you will have to engineering uh, Bernoulli's equation in particular the friction losses the friction heads you know what is a skin friction what is a form friction how is it related to the diameter to the length it will be covered in the NPSH itself when you study about the pressure drop uh, so I didn't mention it explicitly but it is uh, very very uh, imperative that you will have to know about uh, Bernoulli's theorem otherwise you cannot solve it uh, another is energy balance uh, in a fluid flow energy balance is a must so to sum up uh, the things that you need to know is types of fluids uh, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids pumps and its characteristics all kinds of things about it compressors uh, uh, the layers the boundary layer uh, uh, some assumptions of uh, fluid flow uh, the trajectory of fluid flow very important and Bernoulli's engineering Bernoulli's theorem these are the basic questions that will be asked uh, in the in the pumps itself we will be given to choose the type of pump that you would use and uh, the cat from the characteristics curve in the operations curve you will be asked the rpm of the uh, pump or the power consumption of the pump that you would love to choose or the exact selection of pump if i uh, be very very precise we have a video on that as well so the selection of pumps is also very important so these are the topics that will be mainly hovered around when it comes to fluid mechanics go through this topics thoroughly and we will be bringing more videos like this where we will be discussing about uh, heat transfer mass transfer pdc uh, chemical reaction engineering what are the questions pertaining to all of these uh, today uh, we end it here i will be traveling to bangalore so i will be sharing some uh, you know insights from how an internship goes about about after mba so those videos will soon come in too so just to get the updates share it uh, subscribe to our channel hit the bells icon you will get regular updates from it and we will keep on bringing videos like this uh, thank you very much